Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. RG is incredibly annoying, spending his days harassing other fruits, vegetables, and various other objects in the kitchen. Episodes are characterized by him taunting and annoying his victims with incessant puns, rude jokes, and gross out humor. He has a small circle of friends who are somewhat willing to put up with his antics and lives with him on the kitchen counter. He nailed his whole solar system. He became a dimension itself as it has been stated it could inhale the whole universe, making him stay from universal level. He can move around in frozen time, making him infinite. If someone, as strange, was greater than their durability, they would instantly electric themselves. He blows up the kitchen with himself inside every other day. He survived the house collapsing on him, a massive pile of dynamite exploding in front of him, beating monster building, the chips will have impact even twice, and the station crash, which caused an explosion large enough to cover a part of the earth. Orange tends to act like a complete and utter moron. However, he seems to do this intentionally, and often overcomes his enemies by outsmarting them. He was able to make an AI slash robotic duplicate of himself. His attacks are random but appear to be efficient. Super Citrus Orange one shot a GG, who was stated to be superior to his base form in every way, and effortlessly stunned Radish, who Orange could not fight in his base form. He was stated to be the kitchen's only hope at defeating Radish, making him more powerful than the kitchen can, which shattered the moon. If he catches the hiccups, they will eventually make him explode. Act spin, witted and childish. Winking hot sauce can cause him to uncontrollably spew fire from his mouth, which can potentially launch him away from the battlefield against his will. Overall, even with those flaws, Arn still proves himself to be the most annoying fruit in all of the option. Jesse Jesse, dear friend? Why Senior is the adoptive son of Marvin and Rose. He is the first and oldest child of Nancy and Jack, dear friend? Voice and the older brother of CD, but since his biological father shot, faked his death and after he killed Nancy, by shooting her in the head in Jesse Jenkins' birthday. He is now the adopted child of Marvin and his wife, Rose. Despite this, he still has his clone, Scooter, who is currently wandering around outside of Marvin's house somewhere. The thing that he does in his everyday life is annoying and torturing Marvin, hanging out with Junior and his friends, causing trouble, hating school, making messes, throwing plates full of green beans, eating chocolate cake, and much, much more. He consistently tackles those slugger Hengen. He should be somewhat comfortable to Bowser, a regular consumer of Bowser juice, a product made from his urine, which prints the strength to beat the sun, making him star level. He scales to Brooklyn TVI, who put 7 trillion Christmas lights all over the moon in 5 seconds, making him massively faster than Light Plus. He survives the soul from a plane without a parachute and getting dragged across the road without any physical injuries. He's legally mentally handicapped, very foolish and lax, even the most basic common sense thinks that 8 minus 4 is still 8, thinks that there are 7 crayons in a 64 pack of crayons, does not know where fish live, cannot go to the bathroom normally, and has to wear a diaper, has to have his name written on his shirt so he does not forget his own name, he once 
Agreed to the last line that the alarm can get killed a person when the US appeared to make sure no one found out. Once saw the US trapped inside a camera after seeing a video of him that was recorded with a camera and broke the camera too. See himself, this surprise that the water is lit. Mistakes fly. The caterpillars and turkeys from this shown to be far less intelligent than him yet. He thinks that the sun is a planet and that sun kiss comes from it. However, he is a surprisingly skilled artist and rapper and it's fluent in French. Super Saiyan makes Jesse 50 times stronger and faster than his base form. He armed and killed Lord Frieza, who could take hits from a super-powered Brooklyn T-Guy, who was easily able to knock down buildings. He has extremely low intellect, can't swim, is afraid of the number 7, ostriches, and lollipops. If the glitter is removed from his pencil wand, everyone and everything returns to normal. Overall, even with those flaws, Jesse is still the dumbest character in all of Super Mario Logan. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. Now, looking at the stats of the characters here, you can tell who is the clear winner. But I don't think it's a total stunt surprisingly enough. This battle can be very close due to their unpredictability. Thus this would mean Arn would have more trouble facing Jesse than he would have been fighting them such as KG and Radish, because while they are intelligent, they fall for Arn's unpredictability. Arn in this fight is facing someone who can fight on his level. Also, Jesse can become smarter when the pencil enters his brain. So his physical stats are closer than this fight, but go either way. It still doesn't change how Arn has more experience due to feeding on more adventures even outside the kitchen. Jesse may know how to fight, but that doesn't completely matter in a fight like this. So in conclusion, Arn is far stronger, faster, more durable, more intelligent, and more experienced in adventuring, and their abilities can cancel each other out. Time on Total Fight Time.